first. I do want to make you aware of something because uh, I've had a lot of students come back and say, you know what, I didn't know how to do this problem because it didn't have parentheses. What it had was these funny looking things like this. These things mean parentheses also, okay? They just, they're going to be outside other parentheses. So parentheses mean these guys or these guys. Either one mean this situation. Step number one, you deal with these first. Nod your head if you're okay on that. Well, which one's right? These ones? The problem on top. Uh -uh. But we're going to find out why in a second. That's a great question. Thank you for that one. So, first order of business. We deal with our parentheses first. We take care of all those operations. Then we move on to number two. We're going to look for, number two, if you know this already, you're going to look for any exponents, the things we just covered. And you're going to evaluate any exponents right then. So parentheses come first, but right after that, we're going to simplify any exponents. So if you want to keep track up here, we look for parentheses. Now let me set something straight for you. Please be, be listening and pay attention up here for a second. Um, even though we have parentheses here, do you see how there's nothing to do inside the parentheses? It's just the five. Do you see that? Mm -hmm. That means they're done. The, the parentheses aspect of this is completed. It just means now a multiplication part. Are you with me on this? Mm -hmm. Then we look for exponents. We don't have any exponents. Now we move on to the next step. The next step in our order of operations, the next order, is we're going to do all multiplication and division. Here's the deal. A lot of people get this, get this wrong. A lot of people think that you have to absolutely do multiplication before you do division. That's not true. What's true is you do multiplication and division. Please make sure you write this down. You have this in your head. As they occur from left to right. So do you always do multiplication first? The answer is no. No, you don't. It might be that division came before multiplication. Okay, so you look, do your parentheses. You look, you do your exponents. You look again, you do all your multiplication division, but you have to do it from left to right. Otherwise, you're going to get the wrong answer. Not your head if you're okay. So I'm put them on the same step. We're going to do multiplication and division, but it's got to be from left to right. and division from left to right. That's kind of an important one for us. We'll see why in a bit. So let's see why this one's right and this one's wrong. If we went through this example again and say parentheses first, you know what, these parentheses don't really count. There's nothing to do inside of it. We go to exponents. Well, there's no exponents. Then we go to multiplication division. Is there any multiplication or division? Yeah, no. yeah it's a 3 times 5. So we went out of order here. We went out of order here. We added first. That was wrong. We had to multiply first. That's why this one's right. That one's wrong. Multiplication definitely comes before our addition does. Everyone with me on that one? Raise your hand if you're okay with this. Good, all right. So last step, the last thing that you're going to have, with, have after you've done parentheses, <coughs> after you've done exponents, after you've done all this, the only thing that can possibly be left in your problem is addition and subtraction. That's our last step. We're going to add subtract, but guess what? Addition doesn't necessarily come from before subtraction again. It's as they occur from left to right. So we're going to look at our problem. We're just going to go from left to right and do whatever we have there. Whatever happens first between addition and subtraction. So do, do addition and subtraction, again, from left to right.
Would you guys like some examples on how to do these, these seven problems? You bet. Good, because we're, we're going to do a whole bunch of them. Uh, we really need to get this down. If we don't have the order of operations down now, when we get to negative numbers and things like that, we're never going to have them down. So we really want to get this just nailed so we can move on. You guys with me on that? So let's do a whole bunch of examples. Oh, by the way, a couple ways to remember or the order of operations. You've heard, uh, maybe some of you heard the, have you heard the please excuse my dear Aunt Sally? Yeah. It's a mnemonic that kind of beats it into your head. Please excuse my, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. You've heard that one before, right? The other one that I like is the PEMDAS. You've seen the PEMDAS before? Yeah. PEMDAS is you just, you just write it. The only thing that I like better about this than please excuse my dear Aunt Sally is that I can show you that these two things are linked. It's not necessarily that the M comes before the D. They come at the same time from left to right. And these two are also linked. Have I ever told you my PEMDAS story? Do you want to hear my PEMDAS story? Yeah. It's kind of stupid. You still want to hear it? <laughs> okay, so here's my PEMDAS story. So I come from a place called Clovis. I told you this, right? Clovis is kind of a sheltered little town where nothing really happens. And so I went down to Long Beach, which is not a sheltered town. There's lots of things happen. But I came back to Clovis. And so my first teaching job ever was uh, at a place called Dos Palos High School. Do you know where Dos Palos is? Mm -hmm. And so I went out there, and all my friends were, were saying beforehand, because they're all from Clovis, they don't really even know Dos Palos. Like, man, I heard the gangs are really bad. Enough. There's not really gangs. <laughs> There's only 5,000 people. Nothing happens. And the, yeah, the gangs are bad, man. You're getting shot. You better, like, you know, be careful where you're, where you're best. So my first, I think my first, like, month there, I gave a test. And, uh, and I taught them all about this stuff. I, I'd never, I, I did the please excuse my dear Aunt Sally thing. I hadn't really, the PEMDAS was new for me at that, at that time. And so this girl turns in her homework, and, and, uh, and then her test comes. And she, she keeps writing this, this gang name on her test. I'm like, what? You can't write your game. Read. And so, like, I, I bring her up, I go, and she's a real nice girl. I mean, she just sits there, she does all her work, you know, real sweet and everything. And I bring her up, I say, look, I, I don't care what you do outside of class on the weekend, whatever, <laughs> you just can't write your gang name on, on my test and turn it in. She goes, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> this this PEMDAS, I mean, that, that, that isn't your gang name. PEMDAS. I'm like, what, what is that? <laughs> That's an order of operation. Like, oh, stupid. But I, I swear that happened, not even joking. So I thought that PEMDAS, that's why I first learned it was from her. So. Anyway, uh, that's my PEMDAS story. I told you it was a little silly. So if you write PEMDAS on your paper, I'm not going to think it's your gang name. I will understand now. Okay. Anyway, but it, it is a good rem reminder of how to do our order of operations. We can write this however we want. We use this as a checklist. We check off our, our parentheses. We check off our exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. As long as you're doing these from left to right, we've got this down. So let's go ahead and give a couple of these a try and see if we can kind of build on these problems. We're going to start simply at first, then we're going to start incorporating some parentheses and some brackets, and we're going to make them kind of nasty looking at the end, but they're all going to be doable for us because we have this idea. Okay, I'm going to help you through the first two, and then I'm going to have you do two on your own before we start adding anything else up here. Uh, so the first thing I'm looking at when I'm, when I'm doing this problem, I'm going to model this for you. When I look at this problem, I'm initially looking for any parentheses. And if I don't have any, then I move on. If I did have some, I would have to do those operations first. So I look at this, I go, okay, well, I have no parentheses. Let's move on to the next one. So I check for any exponents. Do we have any exponents? No. No. Okay, no exponents. I move on to the next one. The next one is actually two of them. It's multiplication and division. So we look at this and we go, do we have any multiplication and or division? Yeah. Yeah. Whatever one comes first, left to right, that's what we're going to do. We're going to do that piece of it and then rewrite the problem. So when we do this problem, we go, okay, what comes first from left to right? The multiplication or the division in this case? Multiplication. So we're going to multiply. We're going to say, just ignore the rest of it. Do this part. How much is the 9 times 3? And we'll rewrite the rest of our problem. So we do that just piece by piece, piece by piece. That way, at this stage in your math careers, piece by piece is the way to go. Okay. Later on, when you just get to hammer this stuff down, you can do things different ways. You can do multi-steps at once. Okay. But for right now, it is piece by piece for us. You're with me on this? Yeah. Okay. 
So we're rewriting this. The next thing we look for is do we have any more multiplication division? We keep on doing that over and over again until we're done with all the multiplication and division. Do we have any more multiplication or division? Yes. I see some. Division. Division. Okay, that came further on in the problem. So we're good here. Are we going to subtract now? No. no. Definitely not. No, we're, we're not done with our division. So we're going to rewrite the 27 and the minus. But now we're going to ignore this part and do the 8 divided by 4 piece. How much is the 8 divided by 4 piece? 2. So we've checked for parentheses, there were none. We've checked for exponents, there were none. We had some multiplication and division. Multiplication came first, we did it first. Then we moved on, we got multiplication, no, division, no. Oh, division, yes. We did that little piece of it. Now we're down to where there's only either addition or subtraction. We can look for addition and subtraction. Of course, we have the subtraction. So we do the 27 minus 2 and get 5. That's it. And that's the correct answer. This lets us do some of these problems and all get the same answer and that's all the correct answer. This is one of my favorite ones. This actually shows up on the final for your class. This one. Because it shows me just in like two seconds whether you really understand the order of operations or not. It really shows me that. We're going to go through it together. We'll do it together. I'll give you some on your own in just a second. So together, here we go. Firstly, we check for any parentheses. Do we have any parentheses? No. Yeah. no. Okay. Next thing I'm going to check for is any exponents. Do we have any exponents? Yes. When you do, you ignore the rest of the problem. You do just that little piece. Remember, it's piece by piece. So am I going to do 48 divided by 3 right now? No. no. Listen. Look at the word. Am I going to do 3 times 2 right now? No. Nope. I'm going to do just this little piece. So we're going to rewrite the whole problem. 48 divided by 3, not plus 3, come on, 100, divided by 3 times, that times is still there. What is our 2 to the second power? 4. four. four. Yeah, two, two times itself, that's 4. Then we move on. We checked for parentheses, there were none. We just did, and we evaluated our exponent. Now we're down, there's no more exponents, we're down to multiplication division addition subtraction. So multiplication division came first. We do it from left to right. So my question to you is, am I supposed to multiply the 3 times the 4, or am I supposed to divide the 48 times divided by the 3? Multiply. <coughs> divide. I have some conflicting, oh, I got arguments. Let's do this thing. Divide. Debate it out. What do you think? Divide. Divide. 48. Divide. Comes first. Divide. I covered this part up, but that's important. Okay. If you multiply first right now, you will get the wrong answer. Okay, you will. Why? Why? It's it's okay. You're learning right now. But why? It says that. Like you're reading. Yeah, it's just like you're reading. When you're down to multiplication and division, it has to come from left to right. And you know what's what sucks about these type of problems is if you did this, it's going to work out. You're going to think you got the right answer. Let me show you. If you did this this way and you got oh 48 divided by that's 12, right? 12 over there. That looks like it's four. You get a whole number answer. You're thinking, oh, I did this right. When in fact, this is the incorrect way to do this problem. Are you all clear on this? Mm -hmm. right. You have to go from left to right. So this way.